Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a working horror game in Roblox Studio. Alright, so what you're going to need is you're going to need Explore, Properties, Toolbox, and Terrain Editor. In order to have that, you need to go to your View tab up here. Go to Explore, Properties, Toolbox, Command Bar, and Terrain Editor. You don't really need Command Bar, I just like to have it down here just in case I need to run a command or see just anything. Alright, so go back to your Home menu. If you can't find uh, Editor in Toolbox, just go back to your home menu, you should find editor and toolbox sitting right there. Alright, so what you're going to do now, is you're going to go to your terrain editor. Uh, you're going to go to region. You're going to select. Uh, just you're going to drag and select um, what you're going to fill in. So for example, we're going to fill all of this area with grass. Why does it keep doing this? It's so weird. That that, that, that. Alright, and then once you're done, you can go to the fill option down here. And then you just uh, select normal grass right here and just fill it. Uh, we're actually going to change the transparency of the base plate. Go down to properties, you, such, you should see transparency, just change that to one. We might need, um, we might need the base plate sooner or later, so we'll just keep that. Uh, that's being weird. Oh, uh, okay, that's because I'm still on it. Okay. Alright, so what you're going to... What, what's happening? What, what's happening? I'm just going to edit out of that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our editor, and then we're going to go to the grow, and I'm just going to add some terrain so this map doesn't look boring and flat. <laughs> that's what your mom said. No, I'm kidding. Alright, so we're just going to add some mountains. That joke didn't even make sense. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to just make some mountains uh, just to make sure uh, our play the players don't leave the game because the game looks boring. I'm not saying your game will be boring. I'm just saying that it just looks better with mountains. Alright. So once you, have, once you feel comfortable with the mountains that you've made, um, now just you can add... Oh, let me, let me fix this. Alright. Um, so now you can add some little stuff around the map. I don't really know what to call it. Uh, maybe just like little paths. Uh, so your character can follow the path because it's going to be nighttime in the game. So we're actually going to need that. So uh, just change this to maybe 9. Uh, and then you're going to get asphalt. And let's put that back down. And here's where your character is going to spawn. So just put that right there. Let's see what this looks like. Alright, that, that, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, then we can just put some little stuff around the map. Maybe like a, something over here, something over there. And just one going over here. Maybe something over here. Okay. Just uh, what, what you like, just put it in. Alright, so now we're going to create our um, base, or like start air, starter area. Um, so you can just really get this from Toolbox unless you're pretty advanced and you like making your own stuff. Uh, basically we're going to be making a, um, I'll show you what we're going to be making. It's a observatory, I don't really, observation tower. Uh, we're just going to drag and drop this in. Really we won't need, uh, this thing down here, so we're just going to get that out. Just going to Logan Paul it. That joke didn't make sense either. I'm just going to shut up with my jokes. And we're going to put that down into the ground. And here we go. We have our little sniper tower. Uh, rotate it and scale it to how you feel you think is best. And for reference size, just to see how big our tower is, I'm just going to have a dummy. Uh, just to see how big my tower is. Oh, it's not too big. That's what she said. And here we go. Here we go. You can see our little dummy up there. Alright, and then now we're going to add trees to our horror game. Again, just for land design and terrain. Let me move out of my chair. Okay. Here we go, trees. Uh, I recommend getting the dead trees. The dead trees look better like old pine trees or something. I don't know, they just look better. Move this back here. And then you can get a group of pine pine trees, if I can talk today. You can just uh, move them, maybe. Add some up there. 
here, there, everywhere. And what about over here? That's kind of on the trail. I'm just gonna move this right here. Add some maybe like um, rotation to it if you want to. I feel like that would be best considering we need land design for our game. And here we go. So just pretty basic stuff. Um, whoops, my game just froze. Okay. And then you can just uh, add some stuff in here. I'm not going to leave any links to the models because you can really just find them in toolbox. See like this. Uh, you need to rotate or move this down. I'm not going to leave any of, again, I'm not going to leave any of the links to these models down in the description because that's just a waste and you can actually find them in the toolbox. And just uh, look up what I look up. Alright, here we go. And then uh, I'm just going to add more trees right here. Sorry about the way. How, how long is this video? Six minutes already? Alright. I'm just trying to find these trees. Okay, I'm just going to move it right here. Maybe add some trees along the path. To make it even spookier. Or some right here, maybe. It's okay if they're touching each other, because it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because trees, and kind of in real life, do that. The same thing. They, like, get close to each other. That's what I did to your mom last night. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so now we're going to add a color correction uh, color correction effect. I think I said that correctly. In order to do that, we need to go to lighting, hit the plus, uh, and then should say color correction effect. I was correct. <laughs> color correction effect, correct. I get it. Alright, and I'm just going to copy this from my little notepad thing down here. Um, so in the lighting, the brightness. Uh, brightness is, a, is just minus 0.1. You see, it's going to be like that. And then contrast, minus 0 0.1. And then the saturation effect, I don't know. Okay, that's minus 0 0.2. So here's what it looks like. And then we can dim the darkness. Or add a atmosphere. And we can add a blur. A blur effect. Uh, just size, size the blur effect to maybe like... Five, so you don't see far off into the distance. Yay, my Grand Theft Auto is finished downloading. That's perfect. Alright, and then we can add a bloom effect. We can change the bloom intensity. Maybe a... Th what about a 9? Change the size to a 222 threshold. Oh my god. Dude, it's like seeing the heavens. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, hell no. We're not doing that. Like, Jesus Christ, that literally made my eyes hurt. That actually hurts my eyes. Sorry if I blinded you. That was my bad. Alright, we're gonna change... We're gonna go to lighting. We're gonna change the brightness to... What is this atomic bomb lighting? Like, I get it, yeah, it makes it realistic, but like, holy cheesecakes, bro. My gosh. Okay, one doesn't look too bad. And we go into lighting, we can change the clock time to... Ooh, that's spooky. Alright, I'm actually not going to play this horror game because I am a giant wuss and I hate stuff. I hate horror stuff, which it's kind of ironic because I'm making one. But if you want to, I'm actually going to keep the brightness light for now. Um... I'm going to add a house. <laughs> I'll put on my face cam later. Like, if I do a later video, I'll put on my face cam. But I am actually a giant wuss, and I hate horror stuff. And I always look behind me because I'm afraid something's gonna, like, jump out and eat me alive. But, anyways, you can just add, like, a log cabin, maybe. Uh, don't forget to anchor it. If it's already anchored, then it's already anchored. Um, again, you can add, like, something over here. Maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe a house, maybe like a little small house. Okay, and then that doesn't look, oh, oh geez, that, ha oh, okay, alright. I'm just going to get rid of the rotate. Alright, and then you can go in this little house, this little radio and stuff. Put a decal here, I'm not going to. So yeah, and then, um, you can go to the lighting, and then you can 
just uh, make it 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't really know. Uh, and then there you go. Here's your horror game. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to close out of this before I get hunted down. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want me to go into a more in-depth tutorial, I will gladly do that. I'll try not to poop my pants next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.